we are doing this. I, I, this is not a safe presentation, fortunately. So I will not dig into the into the product. But imagine you have the solution that will allow you, that will show you what task you should do every day to do this one more step, to do this one more call, and so on and so on. And this is what we are exactly doing. How to make people be a 1% better each day. Yeah, so this is, this requires one very important thing that is based on what, what I said previously. This requires some kind of a personalization. Because if we will look at the, if we will look at our population, the company, we have the best people, the worst people, we have the worst people, sorry. These who are not very uh, fluent in what they are doing. Uh, we have the uh, newcomers, we have uh, people that have better skills in one, um, uh, in, in connected with one competence, like they are better sales, better customer care, and so on and so on. So if we look at this, the question is, what task to give the specific person, and how to reward for this task, and how to rate this task, how much we should pay for this task, for this next step? at the beginning of each day, at the beginning of each day, at the beginning of each week, yes? And how to reward it. In our platform, you are collecting the virtual points and you can get the reward either in money or buy something. You can buy something in the shop. And this is, this is, uh, that, so this is, this is not important now. The important thing is, what will be the next step? So for example, if someone is working with a new product and he is uh, fluent with this product, his performance is like, 180%, he should get, or she should get, the next task that is uh, utilizing his or her potential more fully. If someone is new, he should get training or uh, less uh, skill-consuming task. I mean, less task that requires less skills and so on and so on. So the idea, of course, and how to plan this task, and the question was, the question of machine learning is how to plan a task, how to plan this task. What we uh, discovered working with, uh, in doing this project, is that this task, I mean, the task, how to, assigning it of the task is a, is a kind of Markov chain of states, I mean, if the person is in a specific state, we can give her or him a specific task. This looks very, this looks very obvious. But what determines the state? The first thing is level, level of execution or competence. So if someone is very fluent in selling something, we can say that he or she is at a specific, at a specific state. But the second thing is, uh, is more astonishing. It's that the stress level is also determining the level of competence. I mean, maybe not determining the level of competence, but it's also the stress level is also a very good thing to determine in which state is, is the, the specific person. Why? Because the stress level points out to what our confidence is about what we are doing. So imagine the new salesman, he gets tasks like, goal like, say, I don't say, please today try to sell 10 mobile phones. He never sold any mobile phone. Probably he is frightened. Or his level of confidence is low, his stress level is high. So if we will be able to put a stress into this equation, we are also able to, uh, we are also able to determine in which state is the person. And the stress from the, from the psychological point of view has a very, um, very fine nature. I mean, the stress, if, if, if the stress is too low, we do, our motivation is also low. If the stress is too high, we are para paralyzed by the fear, by the stress itself. So the idea is to keep the stress level in a healthy region, in a region when we have the most uh, the most uh, productive uh, in, in which we are motivated, engaged to, to, uh, to do the stuff. The result is a um, Markov uh, chain or Bayesian learning model uh, 
where the probabilities, where, where we have some probabilities of transition to the next stress level. So we took the person, we say, okay, let's give this person a specific task and say with which probability he, he or she will move to the next stress level. Very obviously, there are also stress levels that are not acceptable. So we have another, um, another uh, parameter for, 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 for our management team, like the stress level. So if you give these people, if you push them too hard, uh, they will go over some unacceptable stress level. There are some normalized, uh, the normalized um, surveys to measure the stress level, like PSS, perceived stress, uh, perceived stress system, that allows you to determine if the stress level is acceptable or not. Yeah. So, of course, the higher stress level will, will lead to, 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 to very negative things we, we would like to avoid, like uh, people leaving work, like uh, burnout, like people getting ill, and so on, and so on, and so on. So this is the thing, but this is the first thing. I mean, how we could plan for the next task, for the difficulty of the next task, and of course, for the reward for the next task.